Cat the disease. Oh, nah. We ain't gonna do that. These illusions in my head. My friend told me that Kid Cudi just dropped an album, and I was like. Yes, because this does perfectly line up with last night when you were in a mood and you were like, it's December and I'm still trapped inside and there's still a pandemic and I'm still in quarantine and I'm feeling emotional and I have nowhere to put it. And then he releases some music. So that's what we're going to listen to today. I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. I, how long has it been? It's been... Well, he released that album with Kanye West, but solo album was 2016. Wow. And it's Man on the Moon 3. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. As he falls back deeper into a state. As my mind is feeding my own on, I can get the album where you hit me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm moody right now. And this is like connecting with my soul because <sighs> it's not that deep. It's just like regular, regular emotional stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> damn. Okay. I think he just said, hear me now, my haters. This time I'm ready for it. Can't stop this war in me. Can't stop this war in me. Hear me now, hey. Jeez. It's so honest. The music is always so honest. And I just... It's beautifully produced. The tone is set. I'm so excited for the rest of this. I don't even know where we're going to go. But the, the tone is set right now. This fight this boring, me, me, me. I got a song to do. the production on this song as well i don't like the song as much i do like the sound of his voice though and i i'm like 50 50 on the lyrics but i'm okay with this because the last song affected me so greatly i feel like mm, I, it's not that i don't like it i'm undecided about it i don't know how i feel yet so maybe i should stop talking <laughs> I do like that he is cognizant and aware of his experience and how that plays into his mental health and his everyday now. And I feel like maybe the only reason why I don't relate to it is because I feel like I've changed a lot over the past year of my life. But if I had heard this song prior to that year, I would relate a lot more. Also thinking about how that girl in one of his videos kept going, Booty, this place is a mess. I don't understand why you can't say what? my name, right? Is that just like... This <laughs> I can't be the only person who lives for that. Whenever he's like, let me break it down for you. My friend said, Kid Cudi dropped an album. I said, oh my God, I'm going to listen to it today. And because I'd been singing random songs all day, like throughout the day, if something reminded me of a song, my brain would just, something would come out. And then the first thing I said after that was, hmm. <laughs> because when I think of a Kid Cudi song, I think of the, hmm, hmm. What's the song? It's like, Mm -hmm. The story of the chosen rose golden. I love that. This, if I was in a car right now, that's why I think I should start doing these in cars, but I don't have my um my license. But if I had a car, if I could drive around and do these videos. <laughs> I think Club B just activated. Like Club Joie, just, her heart just beat inside of me. I found her again. I was like, something. I can't even discuss. I can't discuss the way I feel right now. Wow. 
Wow, that was the man on the moon. That was 100% the man on the moon. We're only the third song in. Uh, this is what I needed at 9.30 at night. I don't know how I seem to have forgotten how talented he was. I mean, obviously I didn't fully forget because here I am listening to this album well aware of what I'm going to receive. I know I'm like so confident. I don't know why, but I keep having this idea that there's going to be a song on this album that makes me cry because we only really hit like one truly sad one. But I'm I'm nervous because I feel like we're going up, up, up and something we're going to hit a wall at some point and I don't know when it's coming. No. Let's make some additions to my playlist right now. Let's just do it right now while we're here. <laughs> I love his ability to create. He just said, hmm, ha. <laughs> like, and it worked. It, I accepted it. I said, yes. Yes, please. And some more. This is how it goes when you're a It's just so emotional and raw. It's, it's just raw. I think... The thing that always gets me with Cuddy, or at least with his solo albums, I feel, there is no fluff around them. Like, he speaks about the innermost part of himself. I think we're transitioning to another side of the album not that it was put in like a side a side b per se but i feel like we're transitioning somewhere else i feel like we're on a zip train right now going at light speed and then when we got off we'll be in another part of his brain does that make sense okay okay i've accepted what this is about to be let's just put on our seat belt okay let's buckle up the only thing I don't like is the chorus, and I'm sorry, I don't. I guess it's just because I just heard Skepta. Maybe it'll be different after I hear Cuddy's verse and we go back into the chorus, but like, that was so high energy that like, we get to this chorus again, I'm just, I'm not feeling, hmm. It's just, I feel like it's two different vibes, two different vibes entirely. And two different kinds of rap artists and two different styles. Let me not just say vibe and use vibe as a word to describe everything that I mean because it's not. Yeah, I think it's just Skepta who feels a little out of place for me, but he opened the track. So what I would have preferred, not that you need my recommendations, kind of you don't need you don't need me to talk at all. But what I would have preferred is if Skepta opened the song. And then we went to Pop Smoke's verse, and then we had a Cuddy verse, and then another Pop Smoke verse. Because I got used to a certain tone of the song when Pop Smoke opened it, and then Skepta started, and I was in another place. Or they could have done Pop Smoke, Cuddy, Pop Smoke, Skepta, cut the song. Like I could have gone up, or I could have gone down, but I couldn't go mm, up. Mm. I think I actually do prefer it at the end because then it would have been a hard cut. <laughs> Imagine a dystopian police officer. So not even a cop because they don't really have an allegiance, but okay, not a police officer. Um, what's the term they would have called it? A grifter, a raider, whatever. In the dystopian future, he like steals metals or not food because that's kind of dark. He steals metals or something and pills or whatever. And he's driving down this like abandoned road, very Mad Max style. He's got a long black matrix coat. His car is dusty and it's gray. And it's got all these different parts on it because it has to be souped up. But it's not about it looking pretty because we're in like a dystopian world. And the sun is setting and he's leaning back and he's driving down the road and going home after a day's worth of robbing. That's what I'm imagining. Anyone with me on that? I'm sitting here 
like this song's connecting with me like I feel something like not even talking because I feel the song so deeply and it's called Sad People. Yeah, it's just that right, that right combination of existentialism, a little bit of nihilism, a little bit of depression. It's just hitting all those sweet spots for me. Yeah, baby, say I'm back in my zone. Just when I need my mama. I'm never gonna get out of this town, am I, Cory? This song surprised me. I didn't see something like this coming. Shut the f up. Wait, what the hell? I was gonna say this was Stand By Me just because I have that knowledge, but you're confirming it. I should have said something. <gasps> oh my God, wait, I'm so mad I didn't say it. I'm so mad. I need to say my thoughts more. That's literally why we're all here. It's so good, he's so good. And I'm bored in the winter. I mean, I know it's about his childhood, but I'm bored in the winter. I feel like so much of Kid Cudi's music you listen to while thinking about your life. And because of that, I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is I can't look at his music objectively. It, it just, it makes me think too deeply and it makes me think too much. I've taken a lot of deep breaths in this video, a lot. Okay, this sounds like he's floating through space. It feels very transformative. It feels in motion. It feels like a ticking clock. It feels like the essence of time. He's literally saying life goes by. So yeah, maybe that's why you feel that way, Joa. <laughs> the production on this one doesn't resonate as much with me. So while I like it, while I like the lyrics, I like don't like the entire package together. So it's not affecting me as deeply. I mean, it's still a good song, but it's just not resonating with me as the other ones have. I kind of want Kid Cudi to make a project that is completely artistic and inventive in the way that it's structured. I want weird fragments. And this is just what I want. He doesn't have to give this to me. He does not owe this to me. He, he already makes a work that I love and enjoy, but it's just so fragmented and different things are like, there's a 30 second song, two minute song, seven minute song. Like I, I just want it to be, I want it to be the same level of manifestation of art as his brain is and as the albums come together as. I want him to disrupt it. I want like really long guitar solos. I almost want him to make like a 70s album. 70s inspired album. I feel about this I love Phoebe Bridger's part I love that I think it's out of place for me I don't know where I would put it though hmm. this sounds like some I'm about to like <laughs> I love it just ended I love that I love that ending I want more of that throughout the whole song. I mean, I bet it's playing, but I want more of it isolated. Okay, now we're on to Rockstar Nights. I've been looking forward to this Trippy Red song, so let's listen to it. Boy, it's some sound. Uh -huh. -E I, oh, yeah. I feel like the only part I don't like is um, the chorus. I don't like this like to the end stuff. I think it's a little shallow, just a little shallow. And I wanted Trippy to have a sustained note. I thought they were gonna make some melancholic, sustained like sad i almost thought this was going to be like an excitement part two i thought it was going to be like really jolting i'm here for it i'm here for it i'm here for it i'm i'm in it he got me he got me again How is this not the end of the album? This is such a beautiful song. What can I say? 
Like, what can I say about this? About the way he's connecting with people, about the way he's supporting people, about the way his mental state flows through his music. Mm. <laughs> I feel like he's setting it up like I'm ready for Man on the Moon 4. Here we are, the end of our journey. Never again. I never want to hear anything like that again. Yo. <laughs> I, I can't shake that. That made me feel so uncomfortable. At the top, I'm gonna do Dive and Sad People because those two hit me hard. And then She Knows This, The Pale Moonlight and Four to Kids. And then Lord I Know, Rockstar Nights and Tequila Shots. Those, that's my tier for right now. Damn, that was really good. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't heard the Kid Cudi album yet, go stream it. If you have heard it, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below because I would love to talk about this. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't. It's completely up to you. I don't care what you do. I just need an outlet. And I'm so glad I listened to this today because I needed it. You know, it just, it came at the right time for me. That's all I have for you guys. Bye.